is up, the Ask Me Anime Addict here again, the addict with the fashionable crave for otaku meat. Here with the unboxing of Nadia, the secret of blue water, or is proudly known as... Secret blue water. Sorry, I had to go with that clip, that is just so freaking hilarious. But anyway, here we have it right here, the complete collection released by Sentai Filmworks on a Blu-ray from the creator of Neon Genesis Evangelion, Hideki Anno, oh, but it's basically the prototype for Castle in the Sky. If you don't know the story very well, uh, studios from Studio Ghibli with NHK TV Productions, they wanted to make a series from the creators themselves, but Miyazaki, for some reason, dropped the ball and started to toss over the idea to Gainax, who was with Hideki Anno, and Hideki Anno was now became friends with Hayao Miyazaki. So over time, then Miyazaki was like, you know what, I'm just gonna work with the idea, but I'm gonna make it entirely different for this awesome movie for children, which was then Castle in the Sky. So basically, this is the Oh, a magnum opus first version of it because there is a lot more like world building in this a lot more character development a lot more story building because basically it's a 38 episode series it's not like a, a one hour and 30 minute movie which was from castle in the sky now i love castle in the sky i love castle in the sky do not say it's the worst movie ever even i say it's better than the end of evangelion i just like nadia better <laughs> anyway <laughs> We have it zoomed up up close and personal and unwrapped and let's zoom in a little bit to see the detail on this this is basically what was on the blu-ray dvd box cover art from japan which basically has jean and nadia basically acting like pimps or whatever with all this treasure that they found on their awesome adventures through trying to find nadia's home and then with little king over here i just like jean's like little submarine outfit it's basically like the bling in that and then with nadia uh, i'm i'm getting I'm, I'm getting a whole pimp relationship out of this cover art i don't know if that's a good thing or not but it's just a nice nice cover art and here we got the side we got Nadia with her hat basically on the first episode where John wanted to get a boner on <laughs> no 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 bad me bad me <laughs> That's basically what I think of in that first episode. It has its flaws. I can admit that it's flaws, but it's just such a great work of art from Gainax. Anyway, with the special features, uh, we got the Japanese promo, Japanese spot, all that stuff. There, in the English dub, I mean the ADV release, there was also some card like um, little scripts that where the direct the directors were able to interview with the English voice actors, even the children that were voicing these two characters with Jean and Nadia. That was a big plus for this dub for me. I just love the dub from it just because they decided to voice Nate had children in there like 14 year olds It's not like Grave of the Fireflies where there's just a straight-up four-year-old, but yeah There's like two it was in 2003 And they decided to go with having two children voicing these characters and it just works so well It shows the innocence of these two characters on how they're able to work together They're able to like communicate with each other. Well, it's just it's a great combination It's like a Final Fantasy type thing though. It can be a little bit overboard though anyway with the back we got Jean and Nadia. Hold on. With the ADR director, it's Charles Campbell, which is now working with Sentai Filmworks in some titles. Like basically the Roboni Kenshin OVAs, where the voice actress for Nadia, who is now basically probably in her over her 20s, got over to voice a certain character. I think her name is Meg Bauman. I forgot Jean's voice actor, though. Though I'd say they both are better than the performance of Iron. <laughs> okay, Iron Days Mook. Anyway, I forgot. It's hard to pronounce his name, though. Anyway. The classic series now available HD for the first time. I heard there was some problems, but it was the same thing that happened with the Japanese Blu-ray release. So you can't really fix what hasn't been fixed in Japan. But anyway, hold on. I just want to work with uh, this cover a little bit because it's a little bit under the bottom. Let's work on the back on there. And now we open it up. And here we got some cover art that's basically also from the re-release of the DVD series of Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water, where it's basically just new drawn designs for it. It's just nice, nice, nice. I I can get a lot of middle school sex jokes out of that look, uh, but no, Nadia is innocent. Anyway, from the back of here, we got little Nemo. God, I love anime mustaches. Here we got it. Here's that mustache again. Dear God, it's like another character. And from the here, ah, no more mustache. Anyway, we got the character, basically the three guys that invented the Team Rocket stereotype on here. And we got here with that mustache again, damn. Anyway, how long have I gone on with this so far? But yeah, 
I haven't really finished this series, but I can admit another flaw in this, the filler episodes. They basically ignored the whole animation, like, design of the characters, and they just went overboard with the filler arc with crazy animation for it and just dull plot lines that were happening. It's basically called the Africa arc. I'm gonna watch that someday though, and I'm gonna witness it with my own two eyes, but right now I'll consider it a flaw even though I don't watch it because I just wanna prepare myself for some epic crap. I have nothing else to say. Anyway, so yeah, got this thing for 53 bucks, but with the MSRP price probably changed now on right stuff, it's now like probably 60 or 70 bucks since it's like 30, 38 or 7 episodes on here, but I just recommend it. It's one of my favorite old anime titles. I just watched it out of a whim, like thinking of something just normal, but it just, it blew my expectations out of the water as something that was basically the original Castle in the Sky. Oh man, I just love that. Now I want someone to work on a sequel for Castle in the Sky right now. Nothing like 10 idea for 10-3 right now. That's terrible fan fiction right there. Just stop. Anyway, so that is all for this unboxing. Not gonna be talking right now. It is still hot in this room when I'm trying to work on this stuff. Like I'm basically just wearing a tank top as you saw from my crazy little spaz introduction. But anyway, here we go. Aspie Enemy Addict out.